The Weekend in Jacksonville with Dan Hicken is presented by Millennium Physician Group, your connection to a healthier life. Jacksonville, Dan Hicken here, the media mogul with all things Jacksonville sports this weekend. It's football time in Jacksonville, Florida. Man, I can't wait for Sunday. Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence era at Houston. As good as it gets. Jags even favored in this one, for goodness sake. Imagine that. We have lost 15 straight football games. That's the bad news. But that was then. This is now. And now it's Trevor Lawrence. Now is Urban Meyer. Now is a Jaguar team that can show us that they're ready to compete in 2021, make strides and take off in 2022. We've got some pieces, but most importantly, we got a franchise quarterback. And if you watch the Cowboys and the Bucks, and I'm sure many of you did, now you know the importance of why we've needed that guy for so long in these parts. I mean, man, oh man, were Brady and Prescott good. That's why you need a guy who can drop back if he has to, and throw it 50 times and complete 40 passes and throw for 350 yards and get four touchdowns if he has to. Certainly the goal is balanced. Certainly the goal is to give the ball to number 25. Certainly the goal is for James Robinson to have a big game. But sometimes you can't run the football in the NFL. When you can't, you got to have the quarterback who can make all the throws. And that's what Trevor Lawrence can do. Cannot wait. Jaguars and the Texans uh, Sunday, 1 o'clock, 10-10 XL, 92.5 FM. Should be a lot of fun. Of course, recap pregame all weekend long. All right, let's talk some college football. Gators go tomorrow, man. South Florida in Tampa. USF is no good. Florida should be able to name its score, but there's something else brewing here. You all know what it is. It's Emory Jones versus Anthony Richardson. Is how does Dan Mullen handle this situation? It's watching Anthony Richardson and going, my gosh, he's better than the other guy. And Emory Jones has to play well. He's handled things well. They like how he's how he's met with the media, how he's taken ownership of his performance, which was not good. But ultimately, the question that everybody seems to want to ask themselves is, can we beat Alabama with Emory Jones? Or can we beat Alabama with Anthony Richard? I can't beat him with either of them, quite frankly. But who gives you the best chance? Anthony Richardson's a difference maker. He's been compared to Cam Newton. Now, you got to have some help around you, but do you remember many of the players on Cam Newton's Auburn National Championship team? No, because Cam was a one-man wrecking crew. Can Anthony Richardson be that? I don't know. But maybe they need to find that out and find that out rather quickly. Gators, big favorites. They can name the score against USF. I expect Emory Jones to play a good game on Saturday. All right, FSU's also in action, and man, oh, man, never has a loss. Felt like a win for a football program after Gosh, four or five years of being in the abyss, FSU looked alive at Doe Campbell last weekend against Notre Dame. And they got two quarterbacks, and I think they're going to have to play both going forward. I think that their offensive line isn't quite there. Their D-line much improved. You know, that big number 11, the transfer from Georgia, he's a player, man. They got some football players on the defensive side of the ball. Offensively, if you play, if you have a good defensive line, you're going to get after FSU. You're going to get after them pretty good. That's why I think you need both quarterbacks. One throws it better. Milton throws it better. And by the way, Mackenzie Milton's a great story. I mean, bravo, bravo. The want to to come back after all those years for blowing out your knee is tremendous. So, uh, but Jordan Travis needs to play better. He can make things happen with his legs, but he's got to throw the football. You can't miss a guy in the flat. You can't miss a short pass. You can't throw three picks. Those are the things he's got to work on. So that'll be fun to watch as well. High school football Friday night. Oh, so many good games. And we got them all, right? You want Fleming Island taking on undefeated Creekside? How good is that game? How about Bowles in St. Augustine? Don't mess with the old dog. Uh -uh. Bowles will. And you can listen to that game, by the way, on 1010. So high school football Friday, college football Saturday, Jacksonville Jaguars Sunday. (laughs) I'm so happy. That's all we got today, ladies and gentlemen. Check out all the football this weekend. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy Jacksonville, Florida. And we'll talk to you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports.